So generally what you want to do in cases where you want something to collide and, and work is you have two, two choices. You can either do a collision object, which in this case won't work because it's not going to be driven by dynamics specifically. It's just going to collide and be uh, an immovable object, so to speak. But you can also do cloth to cloth objects. So in this case, I'm going to bring these down because they can just be very simple forms. What I want to do is give them select the geosphere and I'm going to make it very primitive. Now with regards to cloth effects itself go into my object properties and add the two geospheres tell them both to be cloth but I want them to be essentially rigid so they really don't want to bend they don't want to stretch and they're going to be so I'm going to boost this up really high stretch value Shearing. I'm going to tell it to use edge springs and what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to to really kind of create much more stiff cloth and I'm going to increase the repulsion factor so that the force that is acting to push the cloth away from itself is going to be exceptionally high so you've got a perfect sphere it should maintain itself the last thing I want to do is adjust the overall density now you might think you'd set it to 50 or 100. You may need to play with this value a little bit. I happen to know that a value of 0.35 for this one will probably work out pretty well. So once I've got that set, let's go and now I'm going to attach the vertices for that, for that bag itself to an object in the scene. So let's just build a quick dummy and back within here this group now I can tell it to a node I'm going to pick the dummy so that these vertices are going to stay as this thing as these actually start colliding downward so now I can tell it to simulate now those don't seem quite quite heavy enough so I'll grab both of those and let's say bring it to two. To race to simulation, simulate again. So that's not it. So maybe we do need to set these up a little bit higher now. Let's try something very heavy. Twenty. I guess it might actually help. So I'm working on a short screen. I keep forgetting I don't have gravity turned on. Let's go back and set this to where it was before. 0.35. And see how... There we go. So now they're really, they're actually too heavy. So I'll erase that. Let's move back. So you can see that setting this up, 0.15, still awfully heavy. And the cloth itself, the bag may be a bit too, let's bring the its resistance up just a little bit. And let's bring this down a little bit more. So 0 0.075. So now I've got kind of a purse or a, a money bag that I can work with. Not too hard to set up. Now, of course, this is very low res cloth. I could easily have increased the amount of density through Garment Maker using the density here, or what I can do is simulate low res. I can apply an HSDS modifier on top. Go to Element, Subdivide. Now, of course, I can hide 
the geospheres because you don't really need to see them. So now you've got this gorgeous looking bag that you could probably draw a string up even more if you spend a little bit more time to it. And you've basically created a cloth simulation for a money bag or a parachute or something like that using using other cloth objects as collision objects or as weights to drive whatever you have in here. It's a, it's a neat technique. It's something you might not think of otherwise that uh, can be pretty handy in a pinch.